Okay, this time I'm going to do one of my rare book discussions because I tend to read slowly. I read when I'm pooping, so it's about once a day and only about 10 minutes. So it takes me sometimes a month or two to finish a book. Depends how much I'm pooping. But the last one, I, the last book I read actually, before the one I'm going to talk about today, uh, I think I've mentioned it somewhere in here before, but I never did an official video on, which I regret that I didn't. But it was called The Lock Artist. I forgot the name. I think the guy's name was Steve Hamilton. Really great book. Five stars. Uh, it's about a guy that gets, you know, lured into a life of crime. And it jumps back and forth between him reaching the the end of his life of crime and a year before when he got into it and showing how he got into it. Uh, just I just feel like I have to mention that. It was really good book. It's a five-star book for me. Best book I've read all year. But then the book that I read after that, which I'm going to talk about today, is called A Thousand Cuts by Simon Lelick. And it looks small, right? It looks small. It's not that long either. Under 300 pages. Just under 300. 296 in paperback. But it's deceptive because the type is very small. Very small. The pages are very thin. This book took me a while. And not only because it's a dense book, but it's also very slow paced and not quite very exciting. But uh, we'll get into that. Basically, it starts off with a first-hand account, like an eyewitness account of a school shooting. And it kind of bounces around a lot. Um... And it's basically, it's about, there was this school shooting that happens off camera, so to speak, before the book begins, where a teacher walks into an assembly hall at a school and he shoots like, I think like three people before taking his own life. And the majority of the book is this detective named Lucia, if I'm saying that correctly, who she's investigating the case it seems like a pretty open and shut case this guy walks in he shot a bunch of people and he shot himself what is there really to investigate um and so there is there are third person mostly third person segments with her going around and trying to figure stuff out but then a lot of it is like full chapters of the people that she's talking to they're giving their uh you know, eyewitness uh, account of what happened or events leading up to what happened. And you only hear their side of it. Like, you don't see her dialogue to them. So there are, like, full chapters of people just giving their take on everything. And it starts as it starts to go on, you start to, you know, it doesn't seem so simple anymore. There's, you know, there were things that were driving this teacher to do what he did. Um, and this book, it runs the risk of being about message instead of about characters and, and story. It runs right over that risk for most of it. This is a book about bullying. That's what it's all about. And, you know, you're going to find out that the teacher was being bullied. And um, at the same time, Lucia, who is investigating this case... She's being bullied by other officers on the force because she's a woman. So there's like a cool parallel story going on where she's investigating a shooting that turns out to be a bully, a, bu a case of a teacher being bullied by students as well as other teachers and her being bullied by her colleagues. So the theme, it, it, it's impossible to miss what this is about. Um, and it really is message. It's uh, it's basically an indictment of institutions and the people who have authority in them who don't do anything about bullying, especially when they know about it. They're not doing anything about it. They just allow things to happen. And I agree with that message, and I like it a lot. And I think that kind of helped me like it a little bit. But I'll tell you throughout most of this, very slow not a lot going on. Um, 
And for some people, they'll be turned off right away because the very beginning of the book, like I said, is this firsthand account of the shooting. And it's given by like these kids who, first of all, the book takes place in, I want to say London. So these kids, they're like these British punks who like they, they speak in a very hard to understand dialect. It gets a lot easier after that opening, you know, usually the most people you're speaking to are educated or adults. And so they're easier to understand. But that beginning, I know my dad, when he read this, he stopped reading after like the first 10 pages. But I can see a lot of other people just not, not sticking through it. But I mean, basically my stepmom really loved it. And I was like, well, I'm going to stick through it. And it has all these like, reviews a electrifying first no novel uh and his powerful wrenching debut Leelook takes a sadly familiar crime and delves into the equally familiar menace at its root bullying it's impossible to believe this is a first novel so this is a debut novel by simon Leelook. i doubt i'll read anything more by him but i don't regret reading it and i think there's two things that really saved it for me well besides the fact that i i like the subject matter um, one is I think Lucia Day it was actually a very strong central character you just start to really root for her as it goes along and it seems like everyone's against her and it seems like she's the only one that's doing anything right and as you know it's a great writing trick but it builds sympathy for the character when they face a lot of adversity and they're you know and she's a tough chick you know so I really liked her. The more you learn about what was going on in the school is also interesting. I I also liked um, the total asshole characters in it, like uh, Lucia's boss. There's one colleague of hers who's a total asshole who's like the main guy that's bullying her. And also the headmaster at the school. And it's cool. I mean, it's just so... It is a little heavy-handed and it is very message-heavy because like... Lucia's boss at the police station is you know, very similar to the headmaster at the school. They both have their own like similar way of seeing things. But I liked her. I liked some of the developments in it. And then something about like the ending, I thought, for some people it won't be a very exciting payoff, but I thought the ending kind of saved some of the boredom that you deal with throughout most of it. I just thought it was a strong ending. I really liked it. I really liked where they went with Lucia's character. Like, she gets her little moment, you know. Um, not to sh spoil anything, but I like the ending. I like Lucia. I like the subject matter. It's just, it is a little dry. It is a little slow. That's putting it mildly. It drags a bit. But, I don't know, just a, such a strongly written character. <clears throat> I think I'd give it... I think I gave it four out of five stars on um, Goodreads or whatever, but a solid three. It won't be for everybody, but if you stick with it, you're going to find something to like in here. Definitely more literature than entertainment, but even then, it's more than both. It's more message than both, but it is brought to life by a strong main character. That's my thoughts on A Thousand Cuts by Simon Lelick. Again, I'm sad I never talked about The Lock Artist, but it's starting to fade from my memory. So, um, But next time I do do a book discussion on here, it will be on Good Neighbors by Ryan David John, another debut novel. <coughs> I seem to be having a thing for like these debut novels lately, but as you can see, I'm about 100 pages into it. And, you know, first impression, this book is awesome. Run out and read this book. Uh, I will do a full discussion once I'm done with it, but fast-paced, exciting, well-written, uh, just really good so far. I'll go more into this in the next book discussion video I do. But anyways, thanks for watching. <coughs> Check out my other videos and whatnot. So, later.